the dead rabbit. Guys, Heathen and um, Hell Rapes came in and did this as a, cla um, a collaboration. I'm really, really digging this. I've been vaping it now for um, about a week. And I am totally, totally in love with this. This is my new favorite RDA to date. Hi guys, it is me, the Vaping Queen, and today what I have for you guys is a special kind of review. Well, I think so anyway. I have the Dead Rabbit RDA. I did get this about a week ago, and I didn't want to do a first look on this. I wanted to vape on it and bring you guys the review right away. So, let's just get down and go into what how, what it has, and I'm going to do a build and go over everything with you guys. So, I'm going to take you down, then we'll come back up when I'm done. So, here is the box. If you open your box, well, first of all, let me go over the box with you. You have your scratch and check for your authenticity. Um, here is what is on the back of the box if you want to pause and read that but I will go over it with you um, it just shows you a couple pictures on the side and if you open the box you get your spare baggy part which has o-rings a squonking pin and a set of extra screws which are hex screws you get two hex tools in here and um, this one is for the extra screws, and this one, I believe, is for the squonking pin. And the only thing I wish they would have put in this box would have been one of these mini screwdrivers, because it does come with flathead screws inside the deck. So they should have included one of these, but they didn't. I hope everyone has one. And it comes with a 810 drip tip which is 16 millimeters it comes with a 510 drip tip connector and this has norwine on it so it's easy in out and then nothing else in the box let me just put this stuff back in here because we are not going to need any of this. Put the box to the side. Just want to show you the RDA. There is the rabbit on there. It's so shiny. It kind of has a throwback like brightness on it. This drip tip that comes with it is a resin drip tip and this is an 810 which is 17 millimeters. Take this up. Um, I just want to show you guys on the cap, you have this narrowing, which makes it very easy to twist for your airflow, which I think is awesome. This does have, this is dual, and then you do have that's dual. And then that is single. So it does do dual and single configurations. Although I know people that like to do a single coil with a with dual airflow. So it's just what the person's um, preference is. Guys, this has some really cool airflow slots. They are on a diagonal. They go down. And then your airflow will go through the deck and back up at you through the drip tip, which I think is very, very nice. So here is where they kind of got the dead rabbit name from. The These two posts kind of flop over like rabbit ears. Here are your post holes. They are 2.5 millimeters. I wish they would have been three because um, some wire is really tight fitting in here I did try a lot of different ones and you really can't fit certain ones in there too comfortably but there's a lot of wire that fits in here so I just wish they were a little bit bigger um, you have a very nice 
um, it looks like the juice well is not that deep but it really is because you actually have some divots in here and then it goes down where your cotton will sit I think that the way they did this is so so nice um, you get excellent flavor this is by far my best RDA to date so let's just go ahead and do a build on this where are my coils oh here they are I am using Guys, I think I'm getting a cold. How can I be getting a cold when the weather's this nice? I don't know. It's my... Okay, I'm going to use these. These are Demon Killer Coils. I do like these ones that are in the tin box. I don't like the ones that come in the big round package just because they're made really shitty so what they're saying is when you put your coil in here you can see your coil under here so they're saying it takes the guesswork out of but it really doesn't because you really still got to be careful you know how you cut your coil um but If you worked with a RDA before, you know pretty much, you know, what to expect. This one's so loose. I think <clears throat> these are all the same, but some are, I guess, looser than the others. There we go. So I just put mine on here and I just ready, let's see. Cool. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. That's how I like to put my coils on a screwdriver. That way you get them even. <coughs> and then I will take a screwdriver and hold my coils while I screw it in. Because I just don't like always bending my coils if you hold them in the right place see they'll stay like that so that's what I like to do everyone has their own way of doing it this is Mayan sorry I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here Sorry if my fingers are in the way. <clears throat> my voice is getting so scratchy. I really wish they would have added a <clears throat> flathead screwdriver. You guys want to make sure when you put your coils in there, they're not touching. Um... I do want to go ahead and push that one down just a little bit there and I need to do the same on this one alrighty we're ready to glow these babies up
yes, we have new coils here. These coils really don't take much to do to them. You do want to make sure you get all of your hot spots out. There you go. Let's let that cool down and I will get my cotton ready. I'm going to be using cotton candy cotton. I'm going to put this up here. That might not be so good. So I'm just going to tear off some cotton. How I like to do it is twist both of my ends. And I do use um, most of the time when I can use four millimeter. I do use that because that's what I like. I love this cotton. It is very easy to wick, as you can see. Um, whoops. I ripped that piece. It is, um, if you don't, you don't want to pull it apart too much because it is very fluffy and you don't want to rip it the first one went right in here we go all right now you want to make sure you when you cut your cotton that you measure it because you don't want it you want to make sure that you leave it to the bottom of the end of the the build deck because the way this is you need that much cotton to sit in that juice well for your juice and I'm loving the way they did this I absolutely love it they were really smart when doing this So you can literally just take both of these and sit them right in that juice well. That's what I'm saying. You have to leave your cotton pretty long. Because of how high the deck is, you need that cotton to sit in there because it goes down. So just make sure if you do get these that you do do that. I'm going to be dripping my Dinner Lady Rice Pudding. And then I drip some on the cotton here. And here. And then I go back to the coils a little bit and then I'm going to take a dropper of dinner lady lemon tart and put it right down in the center and when you do that it flows out to your air your um into your juice well which that design is also pretty dope alrighty let me put my top cap on and I will come back up and we will vape this Alrighty guys, let's just vape this. I have been vaping this all week and I absolutely love it. It is just such a great design. Flavor on this is just unbelievable.
and you always want to make sure that you're you don't have anything touching your coils or anything like that um you always want to be as safe as possible I raped this on 75 and that is a perfect spot for me. Sometimes I vape higher than that, but on this, I don't need to because this is, sorry, it kind of looks like I have a black eye. I have no clue. Guys, I'm totally in love with this. It is, it is such a nice RDA. I absolutely love it. Um, the flavor is phenomenal. It really, really is. I really, really do love it. Well, guys, there you have it. The review on the Dead Rabbit RDA. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this because this is my favorite RDA to date now. Um, you guys know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Share the video, guys, so that anyone out there that is vaping any new vapors, maybe this can help them. You guys follow me on all my social medias, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.